for going massive i'm fz welcome or welcome back to my channel where i share with you what i do to live naturally on a budget in this video i will be sharing the results of the neem seed oil experiment so let's get right into the video for those who don't know what the neem tree looks like this is what it looks like and these are the seeds you want to harvest the fruits when they are ripe so after harvesting the fruits i remove the skin and i wash them thoroughly to remove the pulp guys i lost the clip where i'd actually showed how i did the whole drying process it took me a roughly seven to ten days to dry the seeds but these are the dried seeds and you can actually break them with your fingers but they would be so sore if you were to do so many seeds so i use this implement that you see me have in my hand I'm just opening one of the seeds so that you can see what it looks like inside. Inside is green. And guys, you could actually do it without boiling this because as you can see when I squeeze it, it is full of oil. So you could have done a cold process. So this is approximately one pound of neem seeds. I began the process by parching the seeds and stirring these intermittently. Please guys, you don't want to burn the seeds. You just want to allow the heat to penetrate through them. Next, I use a mortar and a pestle to grind the seeds and I gradually add water so it becomes a paste. Now, if you don't have a mortar and a pestle, go ahead, feel free to use your grinding machine and then use some warm water to um, massage the seeds. Now the water is already boiling so I add the paste to the water and I also stir every now and then to prevent sticking and clumping. So one of the errors that I made while I was doing this experiment is that I did not skim the oil as it rose to the top. And you'll see why I said that this was an error closer to the end of the video. So if I'll be doing this experiment again, I'll just skim the oil as it rises to the top. And the other error that I made, I should have used at least three pounds of seeds. And so again, if you're going to be trying this experiment or trying to make this oil, three to five pounds of seeds if you want a good little amount of oil if you're going to be using it for personal use. Now guys, the mixture has boiled down and most of the oil is trapped in the sludge. And this is why I wish I had skimmed the oil. So to correct this, what I did was to add some tap water and then I removed it from the flame. So after that, I strained the whole thing and I reintroduced it to the fire and I allowed it to boil down until the custard became dark. So after I removed the pot from the flame, I allowed it to cool down once again. So you can see the oil and then you can also see the custard that's in the pot there. So like many persons, I too thought that the fruit of the neem tree was poisonous. But that is far from the truth guys. Here I had my first taste of neem fruit. The skin was very bitter, even more so than the leaves. But when you get down to the seeds, it was extremely sweet. So guys, I never got around to straining the neem oil until a couple mornings after. And so this is about 5 o'clock in the morning I'm doing this, guys. And so most of the oil seeped back into the custard. So here, you can see my hands, the amount of oil that I'm squeezing. And here again, I am just showing the comparison in the amount of oil that I got from the cold process versus the boiling process. Now guys, the neem oil, it smells like meat and the flies them love this thing i don't know why maybe because of the meat smell it just smells rather strange so already i've started using the neem seed oil in my hair growth oils because i want to see how effective it is if it's more effective than the infused leaf oil or you know so i just want to check that out however ideally i would love to use it alone but I won't be able to go out in public with this smell it smells really awful so if you don't like strange smells guys this oil is not for you now thank you for watching this video remember to share like and subscribe see you in the next video